show about the Trump shutdown for 2018 version. This is the actual third shutdown that's happening <laughs> under the Trump presidency. And the, the quote you're seeing right now, uh, this is Donald Trump when he wasn't president on the 2013 government shutdown saying, this is a quote from him. Well, if you say who gets fired, I, it always has to be the top. I mean, problems start from the top and they have to get soft from the top. And the president's the leader. And he's got to get everybody in a room and he's got to leave. That's a quote from him on Fox News, September 30th, 2013. Because he's a, a, the ultimate hypocrite. This, again, the third government shutdown under his watch. Okay? And there wouldn't have been a shutdown except for the fact that this idiot that we call president, he listens to Fox, he watches Fox News, he listens to talk radio. Okay? And they were calling him moron. First, let me back up a little bit. First, uh, when they had that meeting with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer in the office, and he said, you know what, I'll take blame for this, you know, to get my, well, I'll take the blame for shutting it down. Okay, that's what he said. Okay, he said, they can blame me. Okay, that's what he said. So fast forward like a week or two later, and this idiot is going to, he's getting ready to make a deal. They, you know, the, you know, the Senate leaders and mouse leaders, they get together and they make, they cut a deal to keep the government going. Okay, but again, the right wing media, uh, let's say on Fox, people on Fox, uh, and Coulter and Russ Limbaugh were basically calling him weak and saying that he caved, that he wasn't getting anything, and then he changed his mind. And then Thursday, he changed his mind when Paul Ryan and him went there to, to tell him and stuff, and then he told them that he wasn't going to sign it, okay, that it was going to be a shutdown. And then he's trying to change the narrative by trying to say, oh, it's going to be the Democrats' fault. No, it's your fault, okay? Again, look at that quote that you said, that it has to start at the top with you. Okay, if you wasn't so fickle and so weak-willed that you didn't care what people thought about you, you would have signed the deal and we could have moved on. But instead, these government people soon, probably in a week, because I think they get paid up until the 27th, uh, they're going to wind up not getting a, a bunch of government workers are probably not going to get paid because you threw a temper tantrum because you were, you know, you were basically getting yelled at by your, by the right-wing media. So then you decided, to, oh, okay, I'm going to back up and do it, and. He's just an idiot, just a weak-willed idiot. And this has been a horrible week for him with Mattis, you know, Mattis retired, basically, you know, resigning uh, because he, he didn't agree with with him. And just, and, and then, of course, the judge, you know, the Supreme Court knocked out his, he wanted to enforce his Muslim ban, and they, they shot that down. I think it's immigration ban, excuse me. And they shot that down to hell. Okay, so he had another loss. And then the shutdown on top of that, the cherry on the top, all because this, idiot is so weak-willed and, and, and such a moron, doesn't care about anybody else but himself. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And pulling the troops out of Syria and, and again, and saying he's going to pull the troops out of Afghanistan, not consulting with our allies, just, again, just what more proof do you need that he's an idiot and he's horribly not qualified to be president, okay? It's just really ridiculous. What they should do, which they'll never do, is they should, when they have these shutdowns, nobody in the Senate, nobody in the House, the president, nobody in those branches should get paid. Okay, let the, the workers that who not, you know they're just working, they're living paycheck to paycheck. Why should they be punished because these idiots can't get, get it together? Okay, because these idiots can't get in a room and get it together and, and avert the shutdown. It's just absolutely ridiculous that they, you have to go through this. But I again, I blame him, and I even quote his own words to him. It's supposed to start at the top with him, right? He's the leader, right? Okay, this is the third shutdown under his watch. He's an absolute moron, okay? I said that before, again, a moron. And anybody that supports him is a moron, too. Okay, let me say that perfectly loud and clear. Anybody that supports him is a moron, too. He only cares about him. He's the, the ultimate narcissist. He only cares about himself. He doesn't care about the people. He doesn't really care about the people besides his base, okay? And he thinks, this is, oh, this will help me with my base. That's all he cares about, okay? And, and I pray to God that he doesn't survive these four years, that he... That, that he'd be actually my favorite prayer is that he'd be let out of the White House in handcuffs. But knowing his cowardly behind, he'll probably sneak out in the middle of the night before they come get when they get ready to come get him. But again, this shutdown is so unnecessary. And just because this weak willed idiot, okay, he had a deal and then he, he got yelled at by Ann Coulter and Russell Lindbar and then he changed his mind. What an absolute moron, okay, and a weak willed moron. And it's, oh, it's just. I just I feel just sorry for the because he's he's making the United States look like a joke, and and, and the longer he's in off the longer he's in office, the worse this country is looking. And I just pray to the day that he 
resigned from office or is let out of the White House in handcuffs. Okay, and, and that'll be that'll be a day to have a celebration because he's just absolutely ruined the United States reputation all over the world. And just and I, again, I feel sorry for those workers that they're probably not going to get paid for a little bit because this idiot doesn't know how to make a deal. The guy's supposed to be out of the deal, doesn't know how to make a deal. He's so weak-willed that if somebody yells at him, okay, then he, he reverses course. And 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 these and I also blame the Republicans too for not standing up to him. Okay, they should actually they should have told him in the White House that listen, you idiot, you got to make a deal. Okay, stop. You you gave your word and then you went back on it. Okay, you make yourself look like an idiot. Okay, and you're making the United States look like a, a laughing stock. Okay, and I'm not having it. But you know, like I said, they weak willed and they won't do it. But I just, again, I just pray that this short, shutdown is is short and that they uh that this idiot caves. So, and if I was the Democrats, I would not not give in on him. I tell him, you're not getting a wall, okay? I don't care what you say, you're not getting it, okay? And once we take over January 3rd, that even the, that old deal that we had with you is not going to be on the table, okay? So you you want to you want to keep going, the shutdown going? We'll take pictures of you out there golfing, okay? And show that up and blast it on the TV 24/7 of you golfing where, where people are out of work and not getting paid because you're going to have a temper tantrum like a little kid. Okay, I know five-year-olds that are, have better behavior than this idiot that we call president. Uh, let me stop ranting and raving before I have a stroke. Anyway, uh, that's it. About, that's my opinion about this. The Trump shutdown, the third under his watch. Okay, how ironic. That quote is just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, uh, feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Okay, and this is Paul saying so long. I have, again, links to my social media in the description box and a link to my main channel, Trade Pass in the description box if you want to check those out. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.